Hello guys, in this video, let's create this effect in Niagara. It can be attack, charter respawn, or teleport. Yeah, maybe. It's really simple, we just use the material we created in the last video, and the static mesh, a cylinder, yes. Okay, let's start it. We made this exercise in the last video, if you haven't, you can watch the video. Here is a static mesh cylinder. Let's create this cylinder in UE file. In editor mode, let's select modeling. And create a cylinder. We can adjust these parameters. Here is my setting. That's good, so let's click accept. Okay, in model polygroup edit, we need to remove these caps, so delete them. Okay, we can see the static mesh here, but its UV is incorrect, so let's modify its UV. Okay, UV is in UV editor, transform, scale V. Okay. And transition is also adjust way. Yeah, that's good. Save the static mesh. Okay, the UV is right. Now let's create Niagara. In this effect, we need three emitters. So this is first. In render, let's delete speed render, add a mesh render, use the cylinder and material. Okay, in emitter state, self once, then add a spawn rate, 30, and the initial particle, lifetime is random. 1.5 to 3 color keep it default okay position mode we need these particles spawn in the sky so say axis is 1000 and then add velocity yeah fix issue it's also only say axis negative 6000 to Negative 100. Okay, and then add the initial mesh orientation. Mode is none. Rotation, yeah, it's same. In the axis, 0 to 1. We also need update mesh orientation in particle update. Only the axis, we can copy this value. Negative 1 to 1. Rotation rate is 0.5. Okay, finally, let's add a color in particle update. This time we use curl controls color. Right click this button. Time is 0.3. In the end, also right click. 0.5 Opacity is always 1 Start color is blue And color is red Scale color set this value to 30 Just right Now let's see it in the level Oh yes, mesh size We've got it Mesh size is random, non-uniform, mean 0 0.3, 0 0.3, and 10. Max is 1, 1, and 15. Okay. Okay, let's see it in the level. Oh, it looks weird. Don't worry, because we also need to modify its material. Okay, in material, we need to use dynamic parameter instead of the original parameters. 
delete this node. Prime one and two is U and V. Prime three is tiling. And this tiling we can use prime four. Rename it to tiling noise. Okay. Oh yes, here we use a new noise texture. You can download it for free on my Patreon. Okay, now let's add a dynamic parameter index 1. Because we need more parameters in Niagara. This prime 1, let's rename it to power. We can use it to control noise power. And prime 2 is UV's offset. Of course, we can use particle random value instead of this parameter. Because UV's offset is always 0 to 1, and the particle random value is same. Output 0 to 1. Okay, here we use particle random value. This text card is same. And then we need a finale and a particle color to control its opacity. So let's add a particle color. Use this subtract alpha channel and multiply by finale. Of course, we need a one minus because we want to get the edge transition of the mesh. Okay, connect it to radius. Okay, let's modify this parameter to make the edge transition is better. 1 and 0 0.1. Yeah, that's it. We can also add a 1 minus to alpha channel. By using this approach, the curve we get in Niagara will be more in line with common patterns. Yeah, we know 0 to 1 and back to 0. If we don't do that, the curve will be 1 to 0 and back to 1. That's strange. Now let's add a dynamic material parameters in particle spawn. And these parameters, U and V is 5. Tiling is 100. Noise tiling is 15. Yeah, it looks good. Oh yes, we have another parameter, index 1. Power, we can set it to 1.5. Okay, not bad. Let's see it in the level. Oh, uh, we've got one thing. Alpha channel. Yes, colors alpha channel. Just like I said, curve 0 to 1 and back to 0. Okay, let's adjust it. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, it's better. Okay, we have finished it. Now let's create a second. Copy this emitter. Spawn rate is 30, okay. Lifetime, yeah, 3 to 5. Position of sight. Position of sight, negative 200. And mesh scale, 0 0.1, 3, 0 0.15, and 5. In this emitter, we don't need add velocity, so delete it. Let's add a shape location. Shape is cylinder, and height is chain. Enable surface only. Article update, we don't need to make any modifications. So let's set it in the level. Yeah, that's exactly what we want. We can also modify its parameters. 
Yeah, it should be better. U is 2, Tiling is 50. Yes. Okay, now let's create third. Copy the emitter and the spawn rate is 75. Left time is 0 0.5 to 3. Oh, yeah, we can copy the first emitter because they use the same at velocity. Okay, 75, 0 0.5 to 3, and the position is same, 1000. Mesh scale, 0 0.5, 0 0.2. 1.5 and 0 0.5 okay add a shape location cylinder height is 100 but this time radius we set it to 0 because we only need is random z axis and then add a track in practical update 3, 2, 5. Oh yes, in first emitter we also need a drag. Save the Niagara and let's see it in the level. Okay, we need to make it more clearly. So in dynamic material parameters we need to modify its power and we 3 power is random 0 0.5 to 1 yes it's more brightness and clearly that's great that's right this is our effect Okay, that's all for this video. We can also modify these parameters as we like. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.